Hello! Today we are continuing our journey around the world in art and we are stopping in China. And today we are going to look at the Chinese art form of porcelain vases. This is a very significant and important form of art in China and they are very highly valued and they used to be used as trade objects but now we see this type of um, porcelain vase all over the world. So we're going to make our own um, Chinese porcelain vases today. So for that, you are going to need two pieces of paper. I have two pieces of white paper. If you have a colored piece of paper, pre preferably a light color, um, you could do one white and one colored piece of paper. Um, I will, maybe I'll do mine on a colored piece of paper. But again, if you just have white then just do two pieces of white paper. We also need some markers. So grab your markers. If you don't have markers, then crayons or colored pencils. But I would choose markers first. A pencil, a scissors, a glue stick or glue. And I'm gonna grab a Sharpie as well. But if you don't have a Sharpie, you could use just your black marker. All right, let's get it started. So I'm gonna start by just having my white piece of paper out and I'm gonna fold my white piece of paper in half the long way, just like we did with our sugar skulls. Do you remember how we did that? Because we are going to make a shape and we want it to be symmetrical, just like we did with the sugar skulls. So I'm gonna grab my pencil and I'm going to draw half of the shape of the vase on um, one side of my paper on the fold. Because remember when I cut it out, then it'll be a full shape. So on the slide um, before this video, there was a slide that showed all different types of um, vase shapes you could do. So if you need to look at that, you can. Um, I am going to, or you don't, you can make your own. So I'm gonna start off about halfway um, to the top of the paper, not all the way to the top. We want our vase um, to hold flowers. So if it's too high, we're not gonna have any room for that. So I'm gonna go about halfway here. And I you, I would use a pencil if I were you. Um, so I'll keep that there so you remember that. But I'm actually gonna use a marker for this video so that you can really see it because the pencil won't show up very well. So I'm just gonna make kind of like a little lip here, then come in, come back out. Go back in, can you see that? Come back out again like that, okay? I want to go pretty far out to um, the edge of the paper because if I go really skinny, my vase is gonna be quite skinny. So, you know, bring your shape out a little ways. And then I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna cut that shape out. And as we've been learning about a lot of different folk art, symmetry is used. And we are going to see symmetry again in this type of art in the shape of our base. So let's open it up and see the shape. Very cool, look at that. Now, if I didn't like that shape, you know what? I could just try it again and, and get a new piece of paper. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my other piece of paper and I'm going to glue my vase right to the paper. All right. Again, if you don't have another piece of paper that's a different color, just use another white piece of paper to glue it on. If you have another piece of paper, because we're gonna be drawing flowers on this colored piece of paper, I would pick a lighter color yellow, a light blue, um, you know, something like that. Because if it's a real dark piece of paper, we're not going to see the flowers very well. Okay, and then I'm going to push that right down on my piece of paper like so. Okay, now I'm going to grab a blue marker. This is the part that I get to design my different um, 
shapes and designs on my vase. So you can do whatever you want. There was a slide that gave you some ideas, but again, you can do whatever you want. Um, you can do your designs just going completely across. You could use symmetry if you wanted and to have two different sides kind of coming together or maybe it's kind of doing both things. So I've cut just kind of like a wavy line at first. You can try straight lines. You can try um, different, um, you know, design type things. I'm gonna have like a little line of flowers here. So I'm gonna keep doing that and I'm doing it all in blue because that is the um, way that Chinese porcelain de generally is, is with the, all that blue color, blue and white. Um, but I'm gonna keep designing my vase um, until all of the space is filled. All right, I'll keep doing that now. Okay, I finished my designs. So what I'm gonna do now is grab my black marker, whatever black marker you have, and I'm going to trace around my vase shape so that it really sticks out. And this is especially important if your vase is on a white background because otherwise, your vase is going to blend right in to your background and you're not even hardly gonna see it. So we wanna see the outline of the shape really well. Okay, but even if you have a colored background, it looks good too. Let it pop. I kinda went off the line here a little bit. So uh, sometimes I make mistakes too, so I'm just gonna make it a little bit thicker on that side too. Maybe it looks like a little shadow. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to add flowers to my vase. So I'm going to grab my other markers and just fill your vase with some different flowers. Okay, you can do whatever types of flowers you would like. Tulips, daisies, roses, whatever you like. Just make sure you have a couple in there. I'm gonna begin to do about four. Maybe I could fit five in there. All right, I will finish with those flower tops. Okay, there's my finished flowers inside of my Chinese porcelain vase. Got the flowers all in there. I cannot wait to see what you do with yours. I made another one earlier. Here's a different one. And this one I did on the white background. So you can see how important putting that um, border with black marker around it is so that you can really see the vase um, over the other white background. Okay, um, so fill your porcelain vase with different lines and shapes and patterns with that blue marker and post to see so when you're done. I cannot wait to see. Have fun.